We are showing you the money, helping you find a well-paying career right here in Alaska on this Workforce Wednesday. Airspace. Alaska has almost 2.5 million square miles of it, and it's a job of air traffic controllers to keep the flying public safe throughout all of it. A job that is very much in demand. So how can you get started and what's it pay? Joining us this morning, Carrie Ann Carty with Alaska Process Industry Careers Consortium and Dwayne McQuillan, Training Manager with the Federal Aviation Administration. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Doing well. Alaska's Department of Labor has identified air traffic controllers as a top job in the state of Alaska. Carrie Ann, why is that? Well, there's actually a shortage of air traffic controllers here in Alaska specifically. Um, and we do have quite a few. We have more per capita than any other state. Uh, there's about 500 civilian, about 117 um, that are military. And really, there's, there's just a shortage of that job. And it's projected to grow the number of air traffic controllers. And it's a high wage job. So with that kind of demand, Dwayne, as a training manager here in Anchorage, hopefully, I'm hoping, you're a busy guy. Uh, busy is the word. Uh, I always <laughs> run around the building saying busy, busy, busy. <laughs> so uh, the FAA is trying nationwide to hire between 1,300 and 1,700 controllers a year nationwide. The facility I work at is Anchorage Center, and our target number is about 115 controllers. So the airspace goes from the North Pole all the way down to Ketchikan, through the Gulf of Alaska, and all the way out to Japan. And uh, we do that with 70 controllers right now. So we have about 50 students. So we are very, very busy. Dwayne, where do you find your trainees? So the, the trainees, uh, one of the places that we really get uh, a good deal of them from is the College Training Initiative Program. Uh, and it's, uh, it's 36 schools nationwide, and uh, they've been approved by the FAA to provide some of the training for that. Uh, most of them offer an associate's program. UAA is a very good school. Uh, my own son even went to UAA, into the technology program, and it's a very good. In fact, many of the controllers that we have for students go there. And, uh, and then they get hired and they move on into a job like at our facility. So what are the requirements to become an air traffic controller? Could I, at this point in my life, change careers? Uh, well, it would depend. If you're over 31, mm -hmm. it might be an issue. So no. <laughs> I admit that. The ship has sailed. Yes. Megan, there's still a chance. Yes. So there, you have to be a US, uh, U.S. citizen because of a security clearance. We have a lot of facilities. You have to have a, uh, a secret security clearance. You've got to be able to pass a medical. I'm sure you want all the air traffic controllers to be able to be there and, and not keel over. Mm -hmm. But uh, yes, you have to do that. Plus, there are other uh, tests that we have, psych exams, and we have other pre-employment exams as well. So what everybody wants to know, Carrie Ann, what's the pay like for an air traffic controller and other careers with the Federal Aviation Administration? Sure, there's a lot of different types of careers with the, the FAA. Um, air traffic controller just being one of them at, with an average salary of about $104,000 a year. But there's also kind of a cost of living percentage that goes on top of that. So realistically, that number is about $150,000. Um, and then when you talk about computer specialists and things like that, about $140,000. So really high wage jobs definitely some very nice six figures there yes, without a doubt so Dwayne before uh, you did the training you were an air traffic controller what was would you say the best part of the job how would you how would you tell somebody else hey this is a great career to get so into. I love my career I love my job it's mm -hmm. a great job the FAA is a great place to work I worked airplanes for almost 29 years in Anchorage and in Los Angeles working the airplanes going into there and it's it's challenging it's fun uh, it's a teamwork thing and uh, it's just, it just uh, it's a sense of accomplishment when you do your job. And one of the great things about it for people that are looking for a job like this is you put your, get done, you put your headset in the box, and you leave. No more uh, paperwork. You don't have to take, <laughs> you it, home take it home with you. You don't have to take yeah. it home with you. Yeah. Yeah. That is a great plus. Carrie Ann, where can we get more information? Well, there's a couple of websites you can look up, the FAA.gov. Um, you can go to the uh, UAA. Uh, alaska.edu website and then of course if you need some help getting through that stuff you can give martha at our office a call Dwayne, carrie ann thank you for your time thank you, thank you.